Hey, this is Jamie at Useful Knowledge. Well, I don't do a lot of reviews on our channel, but I've got to talk to you about this Ego 56 volt chainsaw with the 18 inch bar. I put it to a pretty good test over this past weekend, and I want to share with you how well it did. So stay tuned. Okay, in just a minute, I'm going to show you photos of the large tree we cut down over the weekend using this saw. But first, I want to tell you a little bit about this setup. So I've got the Ego 56 volt chainsaw with the 18 inch bar. I've got two five amp hour batteries. Now, one of these batteries came with a leaf blower, but they're interchangeable. And so if I'm cutting down trees, I've got two batteries. Or if I'm blowing leaves out of my pole barn, I've got two batteries for that as well. So that works out great. I've got a charger and I'm gonna show you the modification. The only modification I made to this saw is I added a carbide tip chain to this saw. It was pretty easy to find what I needed on the internet. I got it from Pacific American Carbide. And what I do, and I've done this for the past 15 years, is I'll put on a carbide tip chain and I will run that thing until it's dull. I don't even sharpen it because honestly, I get about eight to 10 times longer in sharpness than a standard chainsaw chain. And so I don't even sharpen them. I just run them until they're dull and I put on a new chain. Ego sells a bar and chain lubricant. It's some type of plant-based product. It didn't oil this saw very well. I actually got that out of there and used a regular bar and chain oil and it seemed to do fine with that. Okay, now on to the photos. Okay, what we cut down over the past weekend was just a large old cedar tree. Now we had a lot of high winds come in and it actually blew the tree down over the road uh, to the hunting property. So that's what I cut up with this chainsaw. Now at the base of it, it was about 24 inches. And so you can, you can see there, that was the base of it in this photo here. And you can see where it measured almost 24 inches. Now moving up about nine feet, it was still around 20 inches. So it was a pretty large tree. And uh, I obviously had to cut from each side because the 18 inch bar wouldn't go through it. So I did have to cut from each side and, and cut it up. We cut up four nine foot sections. And then also I used this saw to limb about a third of it. I had a friend there that was with me um, and he had a small chainsaw with like a 12 inch bar. So he limbed about two thirds of it. But we used this saw on the main part. Now, what's really cool, I didn't use an entire battery to cut this tree up. So I was able to take the saw, go up and down the roads and actually clear the roads on the hunting property, all the little stuff that had blown over. And so still didn't use a whole battery. Now, time I got back to camp, the battery was showing red. So um, I can't say enough about how well this saw did on that large tree, plus all the additional little trees going up and down the road to clear it. I got back to the camp, got to the cabin, I recharged the battery in a little over an hour, um, and so I was ready to go. But I did have that spare in case I needed it. Unfortunately, I did not get any video of myself cutting up the large cedar tree at the hunting property. A friend of mine said once we got done, he said, I wish we had videoed that because nobody would believe how well that chainsaw is performing. And he was right because I honestly didn't think it would perform as well as it did. So I am gonna give you a demonstration here. And this is just a, another blown over pine from that windstorm. This is just about a 15 year old pine. It's not that big, but hopefully you can see how well the saw does. So the specs on this saw says it will do 11,000 RPM. And honestly, I kind of believe it. So here we go. There you go. All right. So we hope you gain some useful knowledge on the Ego 56 volt chainsaw with the 18 inch bar. Thanks for watching.